Welcome back everybody to Quarantine Cooking episode 15 here at the Neon Exchange, the beautiful Neon Exchange, let me rephrase that. Um, I love this kitchen and thank you Tony thank for you. always having us here. Uh, we want to say hi to Andrea Nicolette, hi. YMCA, how are you doing Andrea? Hopefully we can get you soon in the next couple of weeks, get you in here, get you chopping and get you cooking, definitely. So today we have a special meal, it's going to be a vegetarian, uh, it's also actually a vegan meal. Uh, we're going to do a Mediterranean, Mediterranean stuffed eggplant. We're going to put some couscous in there, uh, garbanzo beans, parsley, grape tomatoes, garlic, Gilroy garlic, of course. Uh, so be ready to uh, you guys prepare that right now. We do have a special guest today. Uh, she's an author, a transformational speaker, TV host, ghostwriter, most important of all, mother. She's also a uh, fellow YouTuber. She's the founder of Rising Above Publishing Services. We got Shireen Rivera. Woohoo! Hi, Hello. Shireen. Thank you for having me, Mark. I really appreciate it. Definitely, definitely. You so, look uh, fabulous today, darling. Thank yeah, you. yeah. We're glad, we're glad you're here, and we, you know you have a lot of uh, information that we would like to uh, get out of your brain. Get out of mm -hmm. your brain. I'd definitely. Love to get it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, how are you doing? How's everything going? I'm doing great. Actually, COVID's been really good to my business. Um, my company, Rising Above Pub Publishing Services, I help people brand their business with a book. So everybody right now, since they're at home, is wanting to write a book. Yes, so, that's awesome. <laughs> that's the name of the game right now. Definitely, definitely. So hopefully soon we get to work together on something yes. in the future. Yes. Uh, what do you have up your sleeve, sir? <laughs> 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 like, you might be your kids, I swear, your kids. Uh, no, we're just, uh, we're in talks still of um, hopefully doing a cookbook soon, life story, cookbook, so just stay it's, tuned. It's, it's, stay tuned, definitely. <laughs> Once we get some good, uh, good every, get everything down and then uh, and organize, we'll definitely let you, let everybody know what's going on. But but for today, we're rocking and rolling on this good stuff right over okay. here. Bring it in, I'm going to show you what we got. I picked these from my garden. These are from my little garnish later on, you guys. Oh. Lavender, you know, I got some uh, nice. edible flowers, uh, some, you know, squash blossoms. So pick whatever you guys want. I got some fresh parsley. This is not, uh, this is your Italian parsley. You can use curly leaf. You can use cilantro, rosemary, mm -hmm. thyme, whatever you guys want. Green onions, you can use white onions, a uh, red onion, um, yellow onion, whatever you guys want. Real versatile. This is real versatile, you guys. Uh, eggplant, of course, you can use squash, anything you want. We got our couscous. This is going to be your regular couscous. Uh, it's not going to be your um, pearl couscous. That's the bigger one. Okay. Use whatever you want again. If you want to use just the regular rice, use that. We got our garbanzo beans. We got tomatoes. These are from the farmer's market. These are from my garden. So we'll be mixing them up here a little bit. This is tahin, tahin sauce, tahini. It's going to be uh, pureed sesame seeds. Oh, okay. That's what that yeah, is. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, they're roasted, pureed. And uh, it's good for a sauce, brings out the flavor. And of course, uh, your Gilroy garlic. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> so here we go, we're gonna come this way. We're gonna make sure your oven's on at 400 degrees right now. Okay. So we get it preheated, get it nice and hot for your eggplant. We're gonna give it a nice roast, you guys. Okay. So what do you, do you ever cook at, what do you cook at home? I knew you were gonna ask that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I don't I'm gonna be completely food. honest. I have learned the hard way that you can't do it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. When you're running well, a that's business. What they, that's what they make guys like me for. We'll, yes. We'll yes, cook for you guys. We'll cook. Because, you know, I'm a single mom and running my business. And so I quickly learned that I had to plan ahead and a lot of just pre-packaged, pre-cooked meals. There's a lot of great, great stuff out there yeah, nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Great but stuff. But you have to plan ahead, you know, when you own your business and you're a single mom. Otherwise, you guys are just eating out every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cereal. Yeah. <laughs> so right now what we're doing is we cut the eggplant in half. Okay. Rub it with some olive oil. And I'm taking my glove off because I don't want to get this all. So just sprinkle it a little bit. Okay. Salt, pepper mix. You can take a look at that salt, pepper sea mix. Salt or just it's gonna be kosher salt. Mm -hmm. I use okay. kosher salt for everything. Sea salt, good also, whatever you like. Everybody has their own little preference. Yeah. Put it in the oven. We're gonna put it in there for about 12 to 15 minutes, you guys. So okay. let's put it in there right now. So we got the eggplant in the oven right now at 400 degrees. We're looking about 12, 12 to 14 minutes. Take a look at it. You don't want it falling apart into mush. Uh, you want it to still have a little bit of texture, but also cooked on the uh, get a nice roast to it. I'll show you. What it looks like. What I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna start the couscous, you guys. Uh, this is your basic couscous. You can get the store. I got to the Safeway. Okay. Um, any, all your stores have it nowadays. 
So what we're gonna do is put it into, you wanna get closer right yes. here? I'll show you what we're doing here. You're gonna put it in the bowl. It cooks in like five minutes, you guys. Okay. Forget about it. <laughs> you can't burn this, you can't do nothing like that. I like that. Forget is about a, it. Is it just a cup or two cups? Uh, this is a cup, but actually, because these, I like these, because these are yeah. measured out mm -hmm. to a cup. So I have boiling water here. Okay. Boiling water. And all you're gonna do is top it off, right? So you want it right above it, right above it, right on top. Okay. There you go, and that's what you're looking for, and all you do is cover it up. And that's it, huh? Easy. Give it five minutes, you guys. If you mess that up, we gotta talk. <laughs> we're gonna have to talk, I'm telling you. <laughs> so as the eggplant's going, we're gonna take a look at it in about five minutes, and then uh, it's been about um, 10 minutes in there, so we'll give it about five more minutes, and we're gonna chop up some stuff here. Okay. I have green onions, parsley, I have my lemon from uh, Martinez Farms. Thank you, Miss Martinez. I, actually, he's my neighbor. He has a wonderful Meyer lemon tree monsters. I pick mm -hmm. all my lemons there. And we have our yellow grape tomatoes here, guys. Okay. I had a question. So are you in, um, I saw on your, on your Facebook, you're a, I, you have an organization for moms? So I started a Facebook group during COVID called Mothers Mentoring Mothers. Mm -hmm. um, I just, you know, I don't have my mother and I know that there had to be a lot of other women who needed the support and mentorship of other mothers, mm -hmm. yes, you know, definitely. especially during the homeschooling and COVID mm -hmm. and just, you know, bouncing ideas off of each other, how to deal with it all. Mm -hmm. And so I started that group and every day I'm getting ads from different women that I don't even know that aren't my friend on my personal page. So I really know that that idea was given to me from spirit and it makes me really happy. Definitely. Yeah. I bring in, you know, different women that I know just personally and we just have a conversation live every other week about uh, whatever topic comes to mind. And, um, you know, people are, people are able to reach out to them and ask them questions. And sometimes some of my guests offer them deals for their, or promotions for their business, mm -hmm. so. That's awesome. It's just a support system. Yeah, that's awesome. I was yeah. talking, I read that, and I was talking to my friends about it. And I'm like, why isn't there a dad one? Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, yeah, why not? We should have a, a place where dads could go, like myself. And where, to stigmatize yeah. that in the, especially in the Latino culture and oh, the black definitely. culture, you know, men are really uh, built to not be emotional or talk about mm -hmm. their emotions and have to. I don't to know. I cry all the time. And have to <laughs> have, it, <laughs> have it all together, right? Yeah. And there are a lot of single fathers out there that I've had some fathers um, request to come into the group. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's awesome. I think that's yeah. really awesome. We, I also saw uh, you just moved to Gilroy. I did. So how do you like Gilroy so I far? I love Gilroy so. I moved to Gilroy in 2016 after my divorce, uh -huh. and I started over here with my two children, and I absolutely loved it, because I lived in San Jose my entire life, mm -hmm. and you know, it's just, so, <laughs> even though it's not that far away, it's far enough where it has a different feel, a different energy, mm -hmm. you're away from the hustle and bustle on the weekends, you know, it's just different, Yes. and so I had to move back to San Jose when my son started school, but now that I work for myself, I was like, why not? Mm -hmm. yeah, Absolutely. So, I'm so happy. What got you into um, writing and publishing and, and media and communications oh, yeah. and stuff like that? So it's actually... Um, it's a long story, but I'll try to condense it. So I was married for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I was in an abusive marriage and I left with my children to come here to start mm -hmm. over. And just starting that journey of healing, wanted mm -hmm. to, wanting to provide my children for with something different, mm -hmm. I decided to publish my story mm -hmm. um, with through poetry of poems I wrote through the 10 years of my marriage. And in doing that, I all of a sudden became like this advocate for domestic abuse. And I didn't even ask to be an mm -hmm. advocate. Like just women were just flocking to me, you know, wanting me to come speak. And it really propelled me to look inward mm -hmm. and ask myself, what do I need to do to be in this position to help other women? Mm -hmm. awesome. And so that's when I really like started self-development and working on myself and published my second book. And I ended up just by chance getting my first ghostwriting contract. Mm -hmm. And from there, 
it, just one thing led to another. And here we are. I acquired my TV show last year, so. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was a need, and you filled it, and yes. you filled it with authenticity yes. and a true story. Yes. And that is probably why it, it took off so quickly, because so many people, you didn't realize so many people needed it at the same time. And I feel like, too, and Mark and I were just talking about this the other day, that when you stay close to what your gift is, mm -hmm. your God-given gift, it will open doors for you. And my mm -hmm. gift has always been writing. I just mm -hmm. didn't know how good I was, and mm -hmm. I didn't realize what I could do with it. Mm -hmm. You know? Awesome. Yeah. That Super was awesome. True. Great story. Great story. We're, we're glad you moved here and you're here with us. Yes, yes. absolutely. So I'm going to pull out the egg plant, you guys. It's been going for about... This is 15 minutes right here. Nice. Okay. That's what we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, that's still not, it's not all mushy. It's got some texture. Uh -huh. Has a beautiful little roast to it. That's what we're okay. looking for right there. I'm going to okay. put it right here. I'm not going to scratch your table. So <laughs> yeah, she'll get me. He knows what you're thinking. <laughs> I am not that picky. <laughs> okay, so right now we're going to do is I'm just going to chop up some green onions. Come take a look right okay. here. Green onions, just nice dice right there. About how much? Can I see uh, This is about a half a cup. Okay. Then about a cup of parsley, rough chop, mix them together. We got our tomatoes cut up right here. I just cut them right in half. You cut them any size you want. Okay. And we're gonna do something fancy today. Okay, what are we doing else. that's fancy? So we know we're gonna make it, our presentation gonna be a little fancier today. I so. feel like I have to go, I'm so <laughs> fancy. <laughs> so what I do with these guys Good right thing here. I'm behind camera, right? <laughs> what I do with these guys right here, I'm gonna gut them a little bit to make a little boat. Let's make a little boat. Okay. Where are we selling off to? We're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> COVID has us stuck in Gilroy. All right. It's making me going cuckoo. There we go. And all we're going to do is gut this. I just lost a little baby right there. There we go. Right there. Just take out that little nice. top part where the seeds are at. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just like that. Put it okay. aside. You're good. Those are all the seeds and stuff. You don't really want those. Uh, you'll be biting them. So just get them out of the way. We made a little boat here. And we're good. And we'll leave them to the side right there, you guys. And you might want to let them cool off a little bit. They are pretty hot right when they come out of the oven. Okay. What else can you stuff, you think? What would you do? What would you stuff? Uh, I'm the wrong person. <laughs> I put spaghetti and tacos. <laughs> stuff it with spaghetti. There you go, right? Yeah. Tony, what would you do there, Tony? Inside the eggplants? Well, besides the eggplant, would you use a, like a squash? Yes. Uh, I love yeah. yellow butternut squash. But, I, oh, love I love that. I love squash, yeah. butternut squash. That stuff. We'll, we got to do all the butternut yes. squash. So right here I have a, the, the pan. This is for the garbanzo beans, you guys. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil. There we go. Okay. Garbanzo beans. Let's go let those roast a little bit, saute. Okay. I know Tony likes the whole flame, but you like them. Oh, yeah, until it goes up in fire. And <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, you have your own garden? I, I me, my daughter and I planted a garden this year, and her boyfriend. Oh, nice. Yeah, we have um, the, the tomatoes, we have um, squash, zucchini, uh, some chili. Wow. Uh, a bunch of herbs, rosemary. I have lavender. We have mint. Uh, what else do we have? Um, some different. We have like four or five different squashes and four or five different tomatoes. The bigger tomatoes are having a little mm -hmm. issue, but we'll get them. That's so good. You know, they were really trying to push people to grow their own vegetables mm -hmm. you know, at the beginning of COVID. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. to be self sustaining. Uh -huh. So, we're going to let these cook a little bit. These are garbanzo beans. These are, um, I bought these already cooked, already washed, um, and everything. If you buy them raw, mm -hmm. make sure you soak them for a couple hours, then you boil them. Because if you just, if you're going to, if you know you're going to use them, soak them for a couple hours. Go to the store, go hang out, do whatever you gotta do. Let them get a little soft and you boil them for a little bit. Take them out, cool them off. Okay. You're just roasting them. Just a quick, quick saute on those. Okay. And what we're gonna do in these guys is, you know, as you can tell, I have garlic, but I haven't thrown it in yet. Okay. Because if I were to throw it in there, it would burn it. It would burn the garlic. There we go. So if we wanted to pick up, you said you published your second one. Um, where would we pick it up from? On Amazon. Mm -hmm. And my second book's called To Love Again, Lessons to Heal from Childhood Trauma and Heartache. Oh. 
And so, like, they're, are they, like, broken up in more of a, less of a story and more of, like, a, a lesson individually, and you can move from lesson um, to lesson? There's six lessons, and in each chapter, I talk about a story of how I learned the lesson, mm -hmm. and then I give people tools that I've learned over the years on how to deal with it that they can apply to their own life. Got you. And then every, at the end of every chapter, I have poems that I've written mm -hmm. that relate to that lesson. I'm going to have to buy one, and then I'll, every one that I buy and read, I stamp it um, inside the book, and then I put it in the library. I could just come bring you yeah. one. Yeah. Or that's Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, like, why are we going to buy it, then? I should have. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't put any in my car today, but I'll no, bring yeah, it Take like a whiff of that. Smell that. Mm. You want to well, bring, it, bring it, it closer? Bring it closer. It smells better than those delicious pickles. Oh, wow. Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that's Cohen. What we're gonna add there, we're gonna add a little bit of the onions and parsley, you guys. Are you crying? <laughs> no crying and cooking. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. How beautiful that looks. That does look good. Mm. A little bit of lime. I mean lemon. That's all in the same pan. You're just not layering it and layering layer it. Layer upon layer upon layer. Okay. Look at this. Come close. Look at that. Smells good. Beautiful. You want to try to flip, Tony? Uh, <laughs> negative, Ghost Rider. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is Sorry. turn this off. We're going to check our couscous. Let's bring it over here. Let's bring it right here. Look at this. Oh, you messed it up, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> He's done. He's done in the city. Mm -hmm. So here we go. What we're going to do here is like any kind of uh, grain, you uh -huh. want to fluff it? Use a fork, look at that. Nice. Look how easy that was. I want to put some fresh tomatoes in there. Okay. I want to put some more herbs. Mm -hmm. And I have just checked that I got one glove on, so I'm going to put on another glove. Looks kind of weird, you guys. Mm -hmm. So during COVID, have you been working on anything in particular that you're like, wow, this is, I'm anxious to release it or just yes. look? Cathartic. So I'm co-authoring a book with Catherine Lucero, and it's a child affirmations book, and I'm super excited about that. This is my, um, well, it's actually my second, because I helped my son write a, a child's mm -hmm. book, but this is um, my first child's book on my own that I'm co-authoring. And then I'm also um, ghostwriting a book for a really well-known real estate developer in mm -hmm. San Jose, and so his book is going to be releasing me too, so I'm excited about that. Oh, so um, you've been busy, right? You've been busy. I, yeah, at one point I literally was writing 10 books simultaneously. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, so it's gotten to a point where I've had to hire help. Mm -hmm. And so my company is growing. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. So we got our couscous here with fresh tomatoes, parsley, onion, salt, and pepper. Then we have our garbanzo beans right here. And you're yep. mixing them right into the no separate no, separately. Ah. We're going to be separate, you guys. So then we're going to clear this up. We're going to get plating right away, right okay. now. Here we go to plating, you guys. We we have our couscous, tomatoes, uh, onions, uh, parsley, salt, pepper mix right here. We got our garbanzo beans right over here, mixed with the herbs also, salt and pepper. Uh, we got our bell peppers. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> eggplants. There we go. I love the rustic decor right? underneath. Isn't it awesome? You like it? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna stuff this right here, just like so. All right. So in the meantime, how can we reach you on social media? Any social media platform? I'm on everything mm -hmm. um, except Twitter. I don't have Twitter, but I'm on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram under Shereen Rivera. S H A R E E N R I V E R A. And then you can also visit my website um, and it's shereenrivera.com. Got it. Yep. All right. Thank you. Holla. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just run these around here. Look how pretty that looks. All right. We're going to do the tahini sauce, you guys. Tahini sauce. You just drizzle that over. Like so, oh, it's amazing. I love how you just cascaded it all over the piece of wood too. 
These are from my garden, my little blossom. Wow. And my little, here we go. And forget about it. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, you guys. You guys, I want you at home, play it in your own. Try to beat me. Do this. Little Mario Escudero, I want you to try this at home, okay? And who's going to try it? That's what I want to know. Shereen. Shereen. I'm going to try it. Try it. <laughs> so here we go, Shereen. Let me know what you think. I know it looks beautiful. I really don't want you to eat it, I don't but I'm just playing. But I do want to eat it. <laughs> so get a little bit of everything. Okay. Let me know what you think, okay? okay. Make sure you get some of the garbanzo beans. Okay. I'm going to get a small piece of it. Yes. It looks like a heifer. No. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. This looks so good. And it's healthy, too. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. There she goes. She went in. Mm -hmm. Get some of that filling. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Thumbs up? It's so good. I want, you write, I want you to write a book about this I will. right here. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> we got a thumbs up again from Shaleen, Shaleen Rivera. Uh, thank you again for coming thank today. You for it's been our, our pleasure to have you here. And we, we just wish you nothing but success. And thank uh, you. we hope we're all on board with you and we're all celebrating with you and just rocking and rolling. Thank you so much, Mark. No problem. No problem. Again, thank you, Tony, for having us here today. No problem. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you next week. You have a great weekend. Stay out of trouble. Bye.